Okay, hi, 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 guys. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you? This is the Rug Detective Show coming to you again with another show, morning, afternoon, evening, doing it every day, providing as much value as possible. <laughs> I'm out of breath now, anyway. So, basically, we are going to talk about today's review is going to be we're going to do two reviews today. And the first one is going to be about a company called worldtoken.network. Okay, so we're just going to fly through this and then I'm going to add the information in the rug detective sheet. So based here, if you want to be able to access this, just go to my Twitter account, which is uh, detectives rug, detectives rug. And then in the bio, there'll be a link to this specific sheet. Um, and then also there'll be a link to um, another sheet which is the scam wallet um, sheet which you'll be able to find and maybe if I can even rug scam wallet okay so basically what you have here is you have this specific um, sheet and then also you have what I've added I've added two tabs so the second tab is the influencer so this basically shows the specific link of the Ethereum address connected to a specific influencer, their Twitter Telegram account or accounts, um, owners and the projects they've shielded. So what we're trying to essentially do is build an ecosystem of when you're interested in a certain project, then you'll then take a look at that project. And then after that, you'll then start connecting the dots to see, okay, you've done your research. Um, you'll look at, let's say when it goes to Twitter, you've looked at the specific influences that's connected to this project. And then also you can start tracking by going to the rugs sheet. It will give you a breakdown, more information about this specific well-known Shilla, his or her account, Project Shield, and then also I'll put down outcomes, so results from that. So whether it was there was a rug pool or whether it did 100x, so just more details so you can start connecting the dots. And what I'll also do is connect the links to specific projects. So we're building like a tentacle breakdown to be able to help you. And then also here will be a new tab, another tab that will build out, which will be like huge players in the space and what they're looking at. There's one guy already I know who I'm going to add to that. That's not the one, um, but I'm going to obviously be adding to that over the next few days. So that's also within the bio. So let's take a look. So this is worldtoken.network. Essentially, is a unique platform that combines the best tokenomics of current frictionless yield protocols for instant rewards with additional benefits of staking in up upcoming marketplace. So essentially what they're trying to do is uh, the best rewards could be guaranteed without any token inflation. So they're given a breakdown in terms of there will be a t transaction tax of 3% goes to holders or later to merchants. So they essentially want to build a marketplace um, utilizing um, yield protocols to be able to generate rewards. So this is more uh, staking based then they've got the tokenomics uh, let me just do some research quickly here just looking on the back end in terms of the code just to see whether this is like a wordpress setup or they've used wix what tends to happen with these projects you have there could be vulnerabilities in terms of plugins that's added to these specific platforms so it's just something to bear in mind which could, if you're staking or farming, for example, on the site, there could be vulnerability. So we like to just look on the back end just to see some more information about it. So let's see here, connected, da, 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 so pre-sell, confirmation, September. Okay, so let's just go back here. Then, initial burn, ones. we do see a lot of these staking, farming type functionalities. Uh, but what tends to happen is, is these projects tend to do well initially and then really just nosedive because there's a lack of demand. So I like to see if there's an actual product. So as we go down, we'll take a look at the, the details of the website. We'll look at Telegram. 
Twitter. I want to take a look if they actually have an existing product. So here, so launch and opening of stake in LP providers, partnering with existing DeFi projects. So online store platform. Okay, so let's just take a look here, take that out here. Then the app, so they actually have an application already. So this, I presume, is on the testnet. But then one can ask a question anyway, just to find out more information. Okay, so here it so shows farming here. I'm going to add this link to there. Then I'm, and then what you can basically do is you can go to a Telegram account and then ask what the situation is in terms. Okay, so this is their Telegram account here. that here what if we get this somehow so this is the research that you would go through in making decisions you know it can take five minutes if you're not interested it can take an hour but these this is the process to go through I'll pull it here so put that there then Twitter Okay, so here we are. Fine, so, okay, good. So they have, actually have an app. They've done some work. You have a lot of projects that don't even have an app, so they've done something. Then world token, let's just see here. Okay, so there's an error on the ether scan. Is this? Trying to understand whether this is real or not. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so this is their contract. So what I'll do here, I'll take this here so that you got the contract out and the contract being verified so good so I can actually go through a code just to take a look. So this is the rug and then basically I will then go down to if I can also do, I'm actually going to add another section here to be able to go have a link which goes down to the contract, so ether scan contract. Okay. So if I duplicate this there, And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add another section. Maybe if we put this here, right? So this is a tokenomics. Or maybe people would like to see it. Maybe even here. Right. So if I go insert above and then insert below so this is the project okay so if i put here contract address Okay, so I'm going to have to work on this afterwards. Anyway, so the contract address of here, then make this pretty, or actually here. So what we can actually have, we can have a contract address, and then we can also have a, a pre-sale address. And if the contract is verified, it enables me to essentially 
So token. And then I can also put down pre-sell. Just to let you know if someone, if you don't have time and you want to get straight to, because you probably say, Ken, I'm, I'm taking too much of your time and you want to get straight to it to know whether this is a good product or, or, or not. I would, there's a section in the spreadsheet where you can go right to the bottom and it says a summary. So advantages, disadvantages. So I basically summarize this whole thing from this video also from the sheet and I get my result, whether I'm interested, not whether I want to buy or not, and I give a score. So this super farm shouldn't be on the main sheet. And then roll token, we'll put this here. Get easier. Okay, so this is pre-sale contract, token contract, pre-sale contract, good. So this enables me to then go through the code to see if there's any malicious code, any backdoors, any minting functionalities, things that I'm not really aware of. And then what tends to happen, this is then provided here, I go through it here, and this is provided to the paid members who are interested. Um, you can also go to, if you see in my Twitter, in the bio, I also, or just below that, a pinned message, I have a Patreon group. So if you wanna go there, you can. And then ultimately, okay, so let's get back. So fine, so they have an app, which is good. And this basically gives you information. So at least they have something tangible. Now let's just take a look at how long this company has been around for. So I go to who's, so checking the domain name registration when it's registered. So it expires next year, so the 4th of Jan, and it was registered basically earlier this month, so two, three weeks ago it was registered. So in terms of the information, there's no information, so basically proxy, it's covered, so we don't know. It's a anonymous team. So there's always slight concerns with anonymous team. I don't really know who's behind it. So this is where I now have to start connecting the dollar, dot, dots, dollars. <laughs> connecting the dollars, we love to connect dollars. <laughs> um, in terms of the wallet address, so just give me a second, I've just got a lot of information here. Okay, so what I'll then start doing is I'll then start connecting the dots. I'll then start looking at the creator account. So here, so I'll look to see if this person has created any contracts. So let's go to tokenomics. Where is this? So here, for token. Then what I'm also going to do here, I will add. So below this, I'll add. I don't know. Let me know if you actually like when I'm actually working on the Google Sheet as I'm doing this recording, or I should do this as a live stream. Let me know, because I'm actually going to start doing more live live streams and have this videos beforehand like what I'm doing now is just more of a like a summary so so basically we have to so what we have now we have the creators contract so this gets interesting then I'm, I'm just going ad-libbing here doing it live here guys I haven't done check this before so and then what I'll do is I'll take a look 21 hours ago so there was a there's a router, so contract created 21 hours ago. There's another one done. Probably this is for pre-sale and staking. Four days ago. So what I then will do is I'll basically then click. Maybe you might only have to just do one video today. Or in this, and then I'll do another one afterwards. So contract creation, okay. So then what I'll do is I'll take a look at this wallet or the contract created here, then copy and paste. Then I go to blocks. Oh, what am I doing here? Blocksy. It's not coming up. Bloxy. 
and then block C. I'll then do some more research regarding this creator contract to see if there's any affiliations with any other projects that this contract has created. So relations with other addresses calls smart so contracts that have been called so sxp so swipe that's a transfer here ownership let's go to the ownership here so there's an errand symbol so this was done basically a day ago so it seems to be an error there but there was one also created here Dev fee, contract creation, ownership. Okay, so this is related to this. And then if I go back, I want to take a look at calls. Um, I also like to look at the ownership. So relations with other addresses. So this is basically once this contract was deployed, any relationships with other addresses, but this is just basically just trading. I'd just like to look at the ownership structure here. Okay, I would have to go through this in depth. And then what I'll do is I'll take a look at this address here of the contract creator, and I'll then connect this to, I'll then connect this to scam wallets. So let's see if I can find this specific wallet in the sheet. Okay, so nothing's there. So basically the more information I add, so this is a scam wallet, just to check that this creator didn't create any of these previous projects. And here's the details of the scams. And if that was the case, then that's 100% scam. And then I'll obviously notify, and that's not something you'll be interested in. So um, this is the process you'll go through, you know, it's quite a lot of due diligence, but obviously if you're putting ETH on the table or whatever, you know, if you're investing your hard-earned money, you want to make sure you're making the right decision. So this is what we're here for as a community. So, so far they have an existing product, which is good. Um, staking mechanism, they build in a marketplace. How big could this, you know, what's the adoption rate? That's another query. Registered um, basically this month, earlier this month. That's fine. So this is their Twitter account. Who are they following? So I'll take a look at who they're following. So let's see finance. So they were basically, if I'm right, they were audited um, by Solidity Finance. So what you then want to do is then read through, go through the code, take a look at the functions, just making sure that everything's in place in terms of the overall structure. And then Basically, if you then skim through, continue to go through this. So there's the tokenomics in place, initial Uniswap liquidity. So it basically states here 10 million. So there's a hundred million total supply pre-sell. So then you want to find out how does it work regarding the pre-sell and the vesting period. They said 20 million marketing tokens will be locked on team finance. So my question will be is how about, what else do they have? How about private sell? How, how about, what else is there? So initial marketing, okay. So initial marketing is 23%, so that would be 23 million. So basically 3 million tokens would be unlocked. And then I want to also then do some due diligence in terms of, if we go back to the world token, I would then like to find out more. So if we go to here, I'll then like to find out more about whether there are any holders at the moment. So, this specific link here that's of the token then here 
then we click on token tracker then we go to holders so okay good so it just shows that they've basically created the 100 million quantity at the moment so they haven't distributed it this is something you'd want to track then it's good to look at influencers so they have someone on there if you go to a telegram account they actually have a pin the message from crypto b so he seems to be involved within this project in some capacity and he did a video about this project so what i like to do is take a look at some of the you know, 29 likes if there's any comments so got a lot of frictionless staking, love the site and the video. Uh, great job. So what you tend to get is some of the existing members from this project will basically then watch it and then comment. So that helps to build up the recognition and the profile of the site. So um, then I would like to go through the one pager. So then I'll go through the on pages to read through some of the information. So like, and then I'll put this one pager, because this one page will also give like more information about the tokenomics. So I'll add that in here under this section. And then I'll continue to scroll down. So the audit, I will also add, which I haven't, and I apologize to Solidity. Um, they did an audit so world token solidity finance so what I'll then do is I'll then add the specific audit report and then I'll put this in under here so this gives you an option to be able to go through this but we then go through this and then And that's the website which I've got. Okay, so I'm going to give some more information. I actually have quite a few, a lot of questions. So I'll then go into the Telegram group to ask the dev owner, whoever, you know, the questions based on my findings. And then the ultimate aim is to do a summary to give my views about this project and then have open ended queries and questions. And then when those questions, you then present it to the dev owner on the telegram group and then if it's if your questions or queries are satisfied then satisfied then you can basically say okay great i'm happy this is my score then you want to connect your score if your score is five out of ten but it's still an interest then you say okay great you have this amount then you want to be able to then diversify or have a small interest in this if it's two out of ten you're like no not interested so you have to then have a barometer in terms of your ratings i'll have mine and then whether this is of interest or not and then you'll continue to move along this okay so anyway i'm gonna be able to provide more details regarding that and i'll come back to you soon i'm gonna do another video um very shortly and this will be for another company okay